Welcome, audience, to chapter 37 of Arthur Morgan's Adventures and the Geek Father playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Happy Thanksgiving to all you out there. This is posting the day before Thanksgiving, and uh, hope you guys all get a ton of turkey and all the trimmings and get to spend time with family, whether you want to or not. <laughs> the ones you like and the ones you don't. It's family's family, right? <laughs> well, anyway, things went all to shit um, in uh, San Denis when we tried to rob the bank, and we got ambushed. Somehow they knew we were coming. Why? To now we've four. escaped okay there? to the swamps of Lebra. Working it all out once and for all. We got to move camp mm. again. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us, and they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well... I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, I agree, the Arthur. game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the you run for months back, now. Arthur. And I seen you. You know that. Killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. You ain't got time, Dutch. So now we're tasked with going to Roanoke Ridge, Murphy Country, a bunch of backwoods inbred uh, mountain people. We have to uh, root out of their hiding hidey hole, which is a big old cave. So I'm enlisting Char help of Charles, and we're going to Charles head up that way. Be right with me, always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. Not good. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think?
Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Saint Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Ah, uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. I think Hosea should have really been leading the gang. It seemed like he knew more what was going on than Dutch does. I think Dutch is crazy. There's the bridge. Easy. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Oh! Well, I see one anyway. That'll do. Come on! the right weaponry. Now we're loaded out right. It'll probably give me some other weapon when the fur starts flying anyway. Okay, well, why do you keep giving me the bow? No. I want my rifle. Shotgun. Let's go. I'm trying to get my shotgun, and then he goes back automatically and gets the bow. So I'm like, no, for no, I don't want the bow. Come on, Arthur. See, shotgun would have been perfect in that situation. Okay. It's a small thing to Butcher admit, Creek is a few but... miles up river. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and the Eagle Flies. The game should Indians? allow you to bring the weapons you and want. I've been trying to help out a bit where I can missions. at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. 
Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is hey, but a dream. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Good evening. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? Y you'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help <laughs> yeah, I us. Guess. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road. They're here. not friendly. These Murphy Hills, stranger, might watch where you wander. I can go where I want. I do what I want. I'm an outlaw. It's a bit of a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. You probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Yeah. Screw walking. The horses are fur. Come on <laughs> I mean, this horse ain't no ghost. She'll do. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. See that up ahead? Shish. Slow down, Shish. keep it quiet. It could be some of them. Shut up, horse. Be quiet. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me and stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on. 
Up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. You're a son of a bitch, you know that? Quick, Arthur. This is why I need the bow. God dang it! You want Damn it, they're onto us. That was close. Yeah. Let's go, Arthur. Got him. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. I'll take that. Machete is cool. The problem with the machete is I couldn't upgrade it in the weapon shop. Would have been dope if I could have. I tried, but you can't. Every time I hear that bear just roaring in the distance, I freak out. Because if you think okay. the bear is close, he's going to attack see what's me. What's going on? That's a stagecoach I'm missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Dynamite! Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. So dang impatient. Looks like it's on there, Tom. This is where a shotgun would be awesome. Here they come. See, Charles, thank you. Why did you just run in there? You could have stayed back where I was, let him come to us, I could have shot him to death. But your dumbass is running in there like, I'm a superhero! And making me fail, it's not Let's my get fault. This over with. That was yours. Now we gotta start back here. Thanks, dude. That one was not my fault. closer and then throw it into the cave. Go on, Arthur.
guess I'll go this way. They want us dead. Only way is you leaving here is in pieces. I'm right. Oh, I got machete to dead. Machete to dead. That one was my fault. Let's get this over with. And now, all the way back to the beginning. I'm gonna get it this time, though. I promise. Okay. Pinky swear. Get closer and then throw it into the cave. Go on, Arthur. Looks like it's on then, Charles. Here they come. Ah, my goddamn ears. Get those bastards. Let's get in there. The only way is you leave it here is in peace. Okay, Arthur. You were wrong about these pipes, sons of bitches. Oh, okay, I lied, and I pinky sweared and everything. Okay, let's get this over. This with. time, I'm positive I'm gonna do it. This time I really mean it. Okay. Get in a bit closer and then throw it in the cave. I got it, Charles. Pistols aren't bad. I think if I used one of those, shot off shotgun, I'd be a dual wielding badass. Come 
save you! Cage and run, lady. Stay away from me. Or break my rusty tree. And run. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. It's like they didn't quite animate her face right. She's a cross eyed right there. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> and I shot them down like they It's all dogs. right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Just, just try to calm your burgeoning PTSD. Nothing happened. You're fine. You're fine. All you need is a smoke and, you know, a good stew and you'll be all right. It's 1899, probably all they did was slap you around and tell you to pull yourself together. I feel like I've been doing a lot of good deeds lately. Hope it's gonna lead me towards a good ending. I mean, how good could the ending be? Arthur's got tuberculosis. He's gonna die anyway. I think it's just, does he die with honor? Does he die with dishonor? Guess we'll have to wait and see. few more episodes yet before I'm sure all that goes down. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. I could literally just explore and play in this world for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. Upon hours. The original game I kept replaying multiple times. Even after the main game was finished. Just wandering through 
trying to find all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh. oh. Thank God. So which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, then. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Brew got Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. So every time I say I'm going to play these games where there's a good and a bad... You know, meet her. Oh no. You leave me alone. I always say, I'm gonna try to play it as an evil son of a bitch. But I always Thanks, end up buddy. playing it as a good guy. I guess because it's just in my nature. Because people tell me I'm a good person. And I guess it comes out in my gameplay as well. I just I can never. I feel guilty. Never just play as a bad guy. Which is fine. I mean, the game is enjoyable, I'm sure, either way. It just feels more natural to me to be an outlaw trying to redeem himself. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! You notice how, you miss me? from the beginning of the game, their hats Drunk were in good shape, You're back. Good shape now they all got bullet holes on you suck of shit! Back Who and you? drunk! The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my calm down. I won't be ignored. George Vanderlyn, I honored him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on oh, me. You you're betrayed not so big now, me. Why? Please calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You're not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty. You. Oh! Oh, damn! Mrs. Grimshaw's hard! the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Shit. Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you! Quit your lollygagging! Right. Get back to work! <sighs> Gang is falling apart. Damn. I think these scenes change. Like if you're playing honorably, you get visions of a deer, like a peaceful animal. And if you're playing as a some bitch. Your visions are of like a wolf, a predator. <coughs> I think. Well, that didn't go well, You're right? Nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw. A nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that. Beady look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. Goddamn you. Murderer. Murderer! Okay. Things are a little heated. Oh, 
Little Jack Marston has it right. This place is bad. Another day. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. All right, Pearson. I miss Jose. I surely do. I miss every man. Many thanks. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Morning, Arthur. How you doing? Poor Molly. I don't believe it. Oh, she knew the rules. Those are some hardcore rules. Stranger way up middle of nowhere. That's right. We gotta go rescue John. Finally. That wasn't my horse. This is my horse. Hey, ghost. What's up, I ain't girl? forgotten you. I could never forget you. And off we go, and they we're here. You didn't want to see the long, drawn-out ride between. That was no fun. Yep. Now, you guys can comment, you know, and let me know if you prefer me not jibber jabbing through these videos much and you just prefer to watch just the gameplay without. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't. I me must tell him he's my husband. I know he's it's your husband, comment, let me but know. it's gonna be. Well, it's gonna be violent. If you don't say anything, I don't know. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor was. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Oh Thank shoot. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times? I like Sadie. She's one of the better characters. In, that's been in, in any of the Rockstar games. Okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh, I think it's great that it didn't make her any kind of watchtower. shrinking okay. violet or damsel in distress. 
know, she played against expectations and became a badass outlaw in her own right. Got a rifle with the scope. Oh, but I gotta grab grab the mission rifle with the scope. Otherwise, it doesn't Move count. Over, I already have a rolling block rifle. You know, if I knew I needed it, I would have brought it along. Mine was all pretty and customized. Can't see him in that group. Let's keep looking. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. No, I want to take my rifle back. Thank you. What are you doing back there? So pushy. Get moving, Arthur! Come on! Come on, Arthur! Let's keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! <laughs> Mister! You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marston? He ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? 
I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm doing. So, <laughs> where do we go? You guys are the Towards aggressors. The I guess. And who's in charge of this practice. fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, be a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Lower your guns! Shut up! Okay, you have to struggle friend, with this now. guy, Just like, for real. Do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sorry? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, now, faster. 14, 15, 16, uh, hurry up. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> hey. Hey. John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> Let's clear these and make a run for it! You regretting this yet? Uh, oh, okay. Ooh. A load of work for the Undertaker ah, in this county. Get down! Been a while, John. You're telling me. Put took you so long? I'll explain later. Was that you in the balloon? Yeah. Believe me, that was my one and only time flying.
almost dead. Don't die. I'm a coming. You always seem to need rescue, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You. You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It's Damn right, I'm a better handle. shot. Thanks. Keep them off us. Now this episode is probably going to cut off, it's going to be continued in the next episode. I didn't it on a cliffhanger because this one is going long. But uh, if you're watching, you know, you found this by accident or even got to do it on purpose, please, you know, drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment telling me what you think. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, Geekvengers would really appreciate that. You'd really help you know, us. I think grow I liked you better when you was all trussed up but, like a uh, prize chicken. No doubt. Continue this. Hurry up. They're going to be on our tail episode. soon enough if you boys so keep stay wasting tuned. time. Oh, that's and uh, too, I want to tell man. you to kill them all. <sighs> Pixel God sort them out. Hey, Arthur. And again, Thank happy you. Thanksgiving. Don't mention it. And uh, let's go. Talk to you next time. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this.